Hey, what's up? I'm Al Cox. I play games, make games, and everything in between. And today, I'm going to show you the cool movement effect I used in my Buildbox Game Jam of being able to move a planet around in a three-dimensional shape because I came across it by accident, and it's pretty dope. As you can see, the planet moves around. Oh, let's try to get it. Oh, I missed. The planet moves around in a three-dimensional way. So I am moving it inverted. Yes, got it, finally. So how did I move the planet in a three-dimensional space by using touch rotate? Here you can see the X is set to world Z and the Y is set to world Y. So here we're moving along the Z axis. This is world Z moving from left to right and then the screen Y is moving forward and backwards, but only in certain areas. As you can see, the world moves, but it's not perfectly, like if I'm moving up and down, Sometimes it's inverted. There, it feels like the Y would be easier if it was inverted. Yeah, it is actually easier with the Y inverted. Again, it's just playing with the physics. And here, level two is different. And I think the main reason, the difference between my levels is here you can see the globe in level one. Its current rotation is at Z negative 17. So now I'll just jump into level two and you can see that the globe has a completely different rotational angle between the X angle, Y angle, and the Z angle, causing the central point of the globe to be in certain positions. You literally need to move the globe around to find out best way to move it up and down. And after, ah, oh, that wasn't even close. Let me try that again. Yep, got it. And after trial and error, I see that my original submission having no inverted wire was probably the wrong way to go. I got this core gameplay mechanic from Twist. And you can see it here. It's just left and right and left and right. Except in this example, go to the cylinder, there is, here's the touch rotate. And here you can see that the Y has zero value. So if I just change this to 10, five or whatever, screen X moves the world Y and screen Y moves the world X. However, Y was set to zero. So if we set it to five, you can take a look and, and you see how it just moves in the, in the this direction, which is interesting if that's what we want to do. This ball again is kinematic and not dynamic. Overall, a lot of fun just playing with one mechanic, trying to make a game, <laughs> nothing working out with the game until I create literally a world and then I'm able to move that world around. I hope you use this technique. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Peace.